Right, I, I can't wait until Unlimited. This is the last case and uh, yeah, it will be opened. Um, not sure if we're gonna open all the boxes, but probably. This is a bad pathway <laughs> in the Monarch stash, which is not supposed to be a stash, but is a stash, you know, is it for collecting or is it for investing? For me, it's more about collecting because in general, like if you're lucky, you get cards that are worth stuff or not, you have awesome cards to play with. And uh, yeah, because since you didn't, I didn't buy them in like for a high price, it's not worth more than I paid for, but not really safe. But here we go, buy safety stuff. And that hurts a bit, but not really. No, it doesn't. It's okay, totally fine. And uh, who knows what these boxes will contain. So case number three is on the way. And uh, yeah, case number two was amazing. And case number one was okay. So who knew? This is from the same store as the case number two. So it's probably a better case or I got lucky with the last one than the first case. So yeah, I'm not trying to think about it too much, even though I'm doing do that, think about it too much. So this is from a good vendor <laughs> that provided me with a nice case before. And uh, yeah, yes, just go to it and see what we will get. And uh, seen the most of the cards, so we will probably kick this one through kind of fast, but who knows. So Growling Growl, Aether Iron Weave, Consume Aftermath and a Phantasmify. And uh, okay. so we will see what we get. Just gonna prepare some sleeves and who knows when we get the good stuff we need to be prepared for it so first uh, display of the third case which is i never bought this many cards before or like this case set so flesh and blood has totally changed my mind in how to behave around <laughs> tcgs and cards so because i'm from a magic background i always bought singles and bought like decks and constructed them so never really been into like the whole collecting stuff. So this is something new for me in general. Uh, so yeah, you're kind of playing investor, even though you're not, but it's a nice side ther theoretical action that like, what uh, are we doing here? Are we playing cards or are we paying for our future houses? Which is <laughs> in a case something that's actually Kinda doable if you're lucky. So foil rare, our first above something else, and a captain's call and a seeping shadow. So the first three packs are total duds. Hasn't brought anything to the table, but uh, it's a long way to go in uh, both this display and in this case. Uh, so let's see here what we get. And yeah, because this, this seems like there is a randomness to like how lucky you can be. And like some someone had like almost all Majestics foiled, I heard. Like, of course, you hear about the craziness in the in the good stuff, not so much the downsides where people get like no Majestics. But uh, both exist, probably. So here is the first one. Not a full art, but... Uh, the Herald of Russian, Heredation, who knows how to pronounce it. Nice card. And uh, according to Kitchen Table, <laughs> still one of the more valuable Majestics, probably because the, the other version is so expensive. That's the main reason, I guess. But uh, nice with Dominate and a lot of cool cards. Like, uh, like cool actions, I would say. So a nice Majestic to start with. Uh, let's see some generics, some shadow, generics, generics, foil common, iron hide, soul reaping, and rise above. The art is amazing. And I saw the artist, I think, yeah, I did on Instagram. He also made the Arcana or Sonata Arcanics. So those are two mostly amazingly good arts. 
like a lot of good arts in this set, but that one and the Sonata is majestically good. And uh, this one deserves more than a rare, I think. Or more, yeah, should be higher up in the rarity chain uh, by far. So let's see here. Let's keep up with the stuff. So another foil rare, the Beast Hulk. Skippers, Nellis, and a Reaping. So the first packs have gotten me not as much. And uh, so let's see here. We are going down the classical right lane of the display because that's how you do it when you open displays. You become superstitious and try to find ways to improve your chances or odds to get really good cards. So a nice foil. This is super looking good, even though it's just commons. And then we have Hell of Triumph and a Conversion from Hell, which is also like a really nice card uh, in how it looks. So let's see here if we can just move along and get our Majestics going. There actually is one generic Majestic that I don't have so far, which is like interesting. And then I, oh, I've been opening eight displays. And this is the ninth, and that you don't really have seen all cards that are like regular cards. And a nice Phantasmify, this is a nice foil. It makes, looks good. Dimensional Gateway and a Deep Rooted Evil. That's my third. So now I have a playset of Deep Rooted Evil. I better play a deck around Deep Rooted Evil. Uh, I mean, maybe I should. <laughs> so it's a has all the stuff you want from a, a brute card. And uh, yeah, so it costs kinda, but uh, but you can play it from your banish zone, so that's that's good. Uh, let's see here, some light illusionist cards, some nice regenerics, illuminate, foil screamer, halo, Cosmetic Shield and Rise Above. Uh, so yeah, you should get three Majestic for each side of your display if you're opening it like I do, left, right to left, which is uh, by all the means the most sufficient way to get the good cards. Uh, no facts, no sources on that one. That's just how it is. You may trust me on that. Uh, the really nice foil. Always love when I get nice <laughs> art in foil, so it helps with uh, not getting legendaries disappointed. Listening and if you like. So, two packs left of the first part, and we are kinda on a slow roll, but uh, in like my last opening of the last case. Like uh, Doomsday was on the like second to last pack, and that like that moves up the whole whole display. Even though I didn't even get six majestics, you are happy because you get the super card. Dusk Path Pilgrimage, also a nice foil. So let's see. Yep. And Petri Blitz and a Soul Harvest. So. So here we are, those nice ones. So no four majestics, no really above rarity of rare in like an especial kind of way. And then we are the see here. So last pack of the first part of the display. And then we have a nice express lightning and foil. Figuring light and a merciful retribution. So first 12 packs are below average. Let's see what the last 12 packs can bring to the total collection of nice stuff. It's always interesting to see what kind of cold foil you get. So lucky enough, we get the cold foil weapon. <laughs> Don't count on it, but that would be amazing. Those type of things really helps with the whole feeling of it. So here we go. Foil, Deep Rooted Evil, I'm guessing. So that's my second. That's nice. It's kind of bent. You see that? Interesting. And the small, Fantasmic Fight. So first above randomness, <laughs> or what do you call it? 
and uh, so now I can sell one of my deep root evils because I have four. Because my plan is to I keep a playset of each card uh, before I even consider selling it. Uh, I actually sold all my wizard stuff almost because I'm not super kind on that class. So as, as like in general, you can't really play all classes. So you have to do something somewhere to like kind of make the economy go around by itself, uh, which is kind of dust if you're lucky. Gateway, Battle Blitz. Um, but then you need to sacrifice something. What we do here? Some nice class cards. Shadow, so in Eryx, Ice Binding, Demigon, Bounding, Stubby, Seeping Shadows, and another Cataclysm. That's a nice rare, Magic, Majestic, I mean, just a good card, just a good card. So, one of the better Majestics, for sure, both in playability and in money-wise. Uh, really specific, really hard to play, and probably has a long, like, future within the card. Like, it's not really that specific. Now we're probably gonna have no more light heroes in the future. That's gonna make this one always uh, like yeah, a good card to have. Riftbind, the legs, Alliance Trust, and Consuming Aftermath. So that's good. But still, we are on a slow roll. In this display, not a super start of this case. If you wanna <laughs> count the case as like a some kind of chance of getting better cards, because you have a lot of like more I don't know connected boxes. Maybe that's not even at all something to do with it. Probably not. Uh, but you one might think. And here we go. Ironhide plate. It's the cold foil. So could have been something else. But hey, we got one. Exclude confidence. Exude confidence. That's also a nice card. Uh, I think that also brings me up to a playset of those. And this is my second Ironhide plate. So right now, I don't really know what the value is, but it's probably below uh, 100 euros right now. Because probably this, this one has seen a lot of pulls pull rates I guess and I like they're good but they're not the other cold foils you can get and uh, yeah but we got a cold foil <laughs> even though I haven't missed one this far uh, it feels like you could always have a chance or risk I say to miss out on stuff so that's part of the opening a box that you're actually not really sure what you're gonna get brandish time skippers Gateway and Eximalis. So we have five ish boosters left. And uh, right now we are two actually regular Majestics away from uh, having a, a good box or a regular box. Uh, right now we are below pair. Uh, Shadow, Memorial Ground, Engulfing Light. Looks good in foil. Looks like Fulgrim from 40k. Ebb and fold, pulping, and out of muscle. And now we have, let's see, here. we have five boosters left. So if you are a legendary, it's your time to shine right now. Uh, or if you're a foil majestic, please come out of the shadow. Or if you are a shadow card, stay in the shadow, but show me the light. <laughs> Who knows? So a shadow exi existence. No, wasn't the foil. Rift behind was the foil. Iron Head Legs, Rise Above, and Unfolded Right. Uh, yeah. Dangerous opening displays that have potential value in it and you don't see the potential. Hmm? That's, uh, that's a thing, I guess. Overload, Rising, Scout, Dimensional Gateway, Hooves. Writing and plow through. Uh, 
uh, yeah, so three packs to go. This better pack a punch to like justify opening this display. Even though you can't really think about that, you do uh, as an emotional creature. <laughs> the second swing, plate, Phantasmify, and Mark of the Beast. So that's a nice little majestic. Could have been full art maybe, but then it probably would have been in the foil slot. But we are one majestic closer to like our promised six. And I think I only had one display with less than five regular majestic, or less than six, I mean. Often they are on pair with what they are like promising. Since we don't have super rares anymore, the pull rate of majestic are higher, like in Crucible, but um, you never know. Evelyn Fold, Battlefield Blitz, and Hull from Beyond. So, sorry, the last pack. What can you bring with? And we will see. Generics. So we have our foil here, Shadow Brute, Blood Drop, Fantasmify, and a Spill Blood. Last pack was a Majestic. So we got our exactly six Majestics. Uh, so I have a playset of Spill Bloods as well, <laughs> if I ever want to play the Axis and not go with the Saber version. Uh, one foil Majestic, that's I like, and a plate that I can probably sell, <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah, so case is open. Let's see where this go and how many I open before I can contain myself. Probably all of them. So thanks for watching and see you later.